Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and I hope you all have been enjoying iOS 13.5, but now we actually have the release today of iOS 13.5.1. So we'll get that versions installed onto our devices here and see what's new. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that WWDC and iOS 14 are just three weeks away, just around the corner. So if you're excited for all of that, make sure to get subscribed and also check out our developer beta perks in the channel membership link down below. There's access to exclusive wallpapers, live streams, giveaways, and more. So go check it out in the video description. Okay, so let's break down some of the finer details here of iOS 13.5.1. The build number is 17F80. Total size for my iPhone 11 Pro Max was 77.5 megabytes, and the modem firmware has stayed the same at 1.06.00. Okay, so if we take a look at the release notes of this update, Apple clearly states that this is a new version of iOS that provides important security updates. Now, this is super vague because it doesn't tell us anything about what is actually being upgraded, but given the update size, I'm guessing that there aren't any new features or major changes in this update. Now, because there are no new features and this is just a very vague security update, I recommend not installing for two reasons. Number one is if you recently jailbroke your device using Uncover Jailbreak tool for iOS 13.5, this update will obviously break that when you update, but furthermore, you won't be able to re-jailbreak your device. The security patch Apple is referring to in this update is patching the zero-day kernel vulnerability being used by the Uncover Jailbreak tool. So that's reason number one, but the second reason to hold off is that if you're having a good experience on iOS 13.5 so far, there's really no reason to update. There's not too much going on with this specific update, but there is the odd chance that it can introduce new problems in your iOS experience. So with that being said, it's always best not to update to minor updates like these, just in case they introduce new problems that you don't want to deal with. Now, just to set your minds at ease in case you have FOMO for not updating to iOS 13.5, we've actually done speed and performance tests and they're all within the margin of error. It looks like there's no degradation or gains found within this update on devices like the iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone SE, and the brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it's looking like this was just a minor security update and there's really nothing new. Now, I know no new features or major changes is kind of disappointing, but just keep in mind that we will be seeing the iOS 14 beta in just three weeks from today. So Apple is most likely working very hard on that process and they won't be focusing much on iOS 13 anymore. In fact, I do expect more of these smaller updates to iOS 13, but as I said in our iOS 13.5 video, that version was likely the last major version of iOS 13 that we'll see as iOS 14 takes priority now. Okay guys, so that was the official release of iOS 13.5.1, and if you have any questions or comments about this update, please leave those in the comment section down below. But if you want to get the update for yourself, check the software update page so you can update over the air. If you guys are excited to see iOS 14 updates in the near future, don't forget to get subscribed and also hit that bell icon so you can get updates on when that content is released. Also, check out channel memberships. Those are now live and have a ton of amazing perks for you guys. More information on that can be found by clicking the join button down below or checking out the link in the video description. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching today's update video and hopefully I'll be seeing you all in some future content. Until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.